Step into the thrilling world of The Wild Wild West, a classic 1965 TV series that combines the excitement of the Old West with espionage. As you dive into this action-packed show, you'll encounter a mix of humor, shockers, and poignant moments that will keep you hooked from start to finish. Now, think about it, who was your favorite classic Hollywood actor in this series? Whether it's the charm of Robert Conrad or the wit of Ross Martin, there's a character that left a lasting impression. Share your thoughts in the comments. Maybe you vividly remember the first time you watched the show. Was it a lazy Sunday afternoon or a late night binge session? Let the nostalgia flow as you recall those initial moments that drew you into the world of the wild, wild west. And here's the kicker, there are countless funny, shocking, and even sad facts about the making of this series. Curious? Well, keep watching, and you'll uncover these interesting tidbits. You won't want to miss a single episode. We want to hear your cherished memories and personal experiences related to this classic TV show. Share your stories in the comments below, and let's celebrate the show together. Your anecdotes are the missing pieces to this nostalgic puzzle. So, who was your favorite actor, and when did you first watch this timeless series? Share your thoughts, and let the conversation begin. The Wild Wild West, a 1965 television series, blended high-tech action and adventure in the Wild West. The show stood out during the Surf 7 craze, offering entertaining content set in the 1870s. Created by producer Michael Garrison, it starred Robert Conrad as James West, a dedicated and impossibly handsome secret agent, and Ross Martin as his partner Artemis Gordon, a master of disguise. Conrad's physical abilities and Martin's versatility formed a dynamic duo that captured viewers' attention. Each week, they faced megalomaniacs with nefarious schemes involving advanced weapons. Episodes, titled The Night Of, featured thrilling action, imaginative plots, and clever escapes. Notable guest appearances included the brilliantly funny and evil dwarf Dr. Miguelito Loveless, portrayed by Michael Dunn. Despite its popularity, CBS eventually ended the show due to concerns about excessive violence. The cancellation marked the end of a series that consistently delivered entertainment, and two reunion movies were made in 1979 and 1980. In 1999, a big-screen adaptation attempted to capture the essence of the show, but faced criticism for deviating from the original's charm. Despite mixed reviews, the show maintains a unique position among spy shows, continuing to have a loyal fan base. It stands as a tribute to Michael Garrison's vision and the chemistry between Conrad and Martin. For those unfamiliar with the series, it remains an entertaining piece of television history, showcasing the creativity and excitement of 1960s television. Except no substitutes, the intrepid duo of James West and Artemis Gordon traversed the rugged landscapes of the Old West in their iconic rail car, known as the Wanderer One. Originally titled The Wild West, the show underwent a name change to the more resonant The Wild Wild West. As the series transitioned from black and white to color, James and Artemis found themselves aboard two distinct trains. The first, a dark paneled model, served during the monochromatic seasons. However, it's the second train, adorned in green and gold, that etches itself into the memories of most viewers. This functional marvel housed the unique gadgets that define the show, becoming a symbol of its blend of Old West charm and espionage intrigue. The ever-resourceful Artemis Gordon, portrayed by Ross Martin, played a pivotal role in the duo's escapades. The transition between the two trains mirrored the show's evolution, highlighting the shift from simplicity to the more technologically advanced aspects that captivated audiences. In the midst of facing megalomaniacs with nefarious schemes, the series seamlessly integrated humor, thrilling action, and imaginative plots. Notable adversaries, such as the brilliantly malevolent Dr. Miguelito Loveless, brought an extra layer of intrigue. Despite concerns about excessive violence leading to its eventual cancellation, the show's legacy endures. Two reunion movies in 1979 and 1980 and a 1999 big-screen adaptation attempted to recapture the essence of the original series. However, criticisms arose for deviating from the charm that defined the 1960s classic. Today, The Wild Wild West stands as a unique piece of television history, a testament to the creativity and excitement of its era. The enduring popularity of the show is a tribute to Michael Garrison's vision and the undeniable chemistry between Robert Conrad and Ross Martin, a dynamic pair that left an indelible mark on the spy genre. 
Charles Aidman joined the cast while Ross Martin was recovering from a heart attack, providing stability to the show's group. Robert Conrad, who played Jim West, wore three-inch heels, a clever move as CBS didn't hire women over 5'6 for the series to keep things visually balanced on screen. Interestingly, the person who created the theme, Richard Markovitz, didn't get credit for the famous music in the show. This lack of recognition continued in the movie adaptation Wild Wild West. Even though he contributed, Markovitz's name didn't show up in the credits, a mistake that carried over to both TV and the big screen. The behind-the-scenes details like Aidman stepping in temporarily, Conrad's choice of footwear, and Markowitz not getting credit for the theme add layers to the story behind the Wild Wild West. These subtle facts give us a peek into how different elements came together to make the show a mix of Old West adventure and espionage. Amidst the challenges faced during the Wild Wild West's fourth season, Ross Martin's absence due to a heart attack brought forth a reshuffling of cast members. For a span of nine episodes, Martin's character, Artemis Gordon, was temporarily replaced by Charles Aidman in four episodes, William Shallard in two, and Alan Hale Jr., John Williams, and Steve Carlson each in one. This unforeseen shift, though temporary, added a layer of unpredictability to the series. In an unexpected revelation, Robert Conrad, who portrayed James West, encountered a wardrobe challenge. The snug pants he sported on the show often succumbed to the rigors of action scenes, splitting open during crucial moments. This wardrobe malfunction, especially noticeable in wide-angle shots, inadvertently exposed Conrad's period-incorrect jockey shorts, offering an amusing behind-the-scenes anecdote to the show's fans. A notable shift in the show's introductory sequence marked the transition from the first to the second season. In the initial black and white cartoon, West's interaction with a woman involved a kiss and a subsequent attempted stabbing. However, with the advent of color in the second season, the scene took a more direct turn. West delivered a roundabout punch, causing the woman to fall in a stunned state. This alteration in the opening credits reflected the evolving tone of the series. As we delve deeper into the intricacies of the wild, wild west, the behind-the-scenes dynamics continue to shape the narrative. These subtle details, ranging from cast adjustments to wardrobe challenges and thematic modifications, provide a multifaceted view of the show's journey. Such nuances enrich the viewer's understanding of the series, showcasing the adaptability required to keep the old west meets espionage narrative alive. Rory Calhoun was initially considered for the role of James West in the Wild Wild West. However, the casting took a different turn, ultimately placing Robert Conrad in the spotlight alongside Ross Martin as Artemis Gordon. This unexpected shift set the stage for a duo that would define the show's success. Tragedy struck during the second season when Michael Garrison, the creator of the series, met an untimely demise. A fatal fall down his marble staircase, caused by a spilled drink, marked the end of Garrison's influence on the show. Despite this setback, the show pressed on, navigating the challenges of maintaining its unique blend of Old West charm and espionage intrigue. Inside the iconic train, The Wanderer One, where much of the action unfolded, a clever studio set allow wood for seamless filming. Removable walls facilitated camera maneuverability, yet sharp-eyed viewers might catch glimpses of a persistent bush outside, subtly revealing the soundstage illusion. Even in expansive desert shots, that ever-present bush remained, subtly showing the tricks employed in bringing the Old West to life on screen. Charles Aidman played a crucial role in stabilizing the show's dynamics during Ross Martin's absence due to a heart attack. Meanwhile, Conrad's choice of three-inch heels cleverly maintained visual balance on screen, a strategic move to work around CBS's height-related hiring policy. Yet, behind the scenes, the show's theme creator, Richard Markovitz, remained unsung, denied credit for the music that defined the wild, wild west. The fourth season brought unexpected challenges, with Martin's temporary departure necessitating a reshuffling of cast members. Wardrobe malfunctions added a touch of humor, as Conrad's snug pants often succumbed to the demands of action scenes, revealing period incorrect jockey shorts in wide angle shots. The series' introductory sequence underwent a notable shift, reflecting the evolving tone from black and white to color. As we explore the intricacies of the show, from cast adjustments to wardrobe challenges and thematic modifications, the behind the scenes details enrich our understanding of its journey. 
These subtle nuances provide a fresh perspective, showcasing the adaptability required to keep the Old West meets espionage narrative alive.